Hey, yo, I bet that's worth some bank. Hands off. Stick to the plan. We're waiting for the spider. You set off an alarm and bring the cops. No amount of money's gonna save you from the kingpin. You dig? <sighs> They're setting a trap for me with idiots like this? <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> Better take out the cameras. Or the cops will blame this all on me. Let's see what I can do before they figure out I'm here. Huh, where's another? Why do they have to be a museum? Museums are lame. I feel like I'm back in school. They had field trips in reform school? Yeah, shut your mouth and do your job. The lady says museum, we go to the museum. Lots to steal in museums. Great. I think I know who's about to cross my path. How do I? Yo, over here! What? I see him. God. Got the spider. That mask. Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. Sometimes I even impress myself. What I'm about to do to these crooks is unsuitable for some audiences. God, I hate stuff like like levels like this though. It's my lucky day. Alright, what am I gonna do? Okay, they're halfway up with me. Done. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I meant work with me. You know, take down bad guys instead of being one. But working for the kingpin, Felicia? Organized crime? You're better than that. Slowly? <laughs> Is this like some sort of mind thing? Oh snap! If you were awake, oh, you'd be impressed. This ain't right. We weren't supposed to fight the spider alone. You were supposed to help us, lady. Let that be a lesson to you, fellas. Oh, a woman just because you like the way she fills out a cat suit? You'd be disappointed every time. I want to, uh, do the right thing, but your track record isn't great. Boom. Two more. Where are they? Are they above me? Are they under me? Are they... Haha, <laughs> there they are. I 
I knocked out your tooth. That's it. Oh, there she goes. Should I have served my time like a good little girl? Get out when I'm old and wrinkly? I don't think so. You're saying the kingpin got you out of jail? How much power does this guy have? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Power. His, yours, and mine. Oh. <laughs> don't feel bad. You're not. You're not. All right, you're not good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're worse than Speedy. Come on, Felicia. We can we can work this out. Have I mentioned I like to watch? And of course the day. <laughs> Come to pop. <laughs> oh great. God dang it. Come on. Felicia. I know I'm playing hard to get, but I'm worth it. <laughs> Are you deliberately moving really slowly? Is this like some sort of mime thing? <laughs> <laughs> Felicia, you Come on, Felicia. I'm Spider-Man. You can't defeat. Now I'm starting to think you're not really trapped. Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. Really? Now you know how the other guy feels when you hide in the shadows. Come on, Felicia. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. Really? You're almost out. You're so cute when you're con I might just What? Where did you go? Oh. Fool me once. I bet you were the worst hide and seek player ever. You're done. Ooh. Your heart wasn't in this, Felicia. Tell me what he did to you. I was transferred to Ravencroft. The kingpin came to see me. Just to be clear. We're talking about Wilson Fisk. Yes. He said he knew I was after power and and he could give it to me. You'd owe him. That's how it always works, isn't it? The doctors did experiments. They called it DNA crafting or crisscrossing. Cross-species genetics? You've seen what can happen. Why would you do that to yourself? Boy, you are thick. I did it for you. So I'd be like you. So we could be together. But then the Kingpin ordered me to kill you. Or die myself. I couldn't. I can't. Felicia, I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face. Just your lips. I, I can get you help. Witness protection. A new life safe from the Kingpin. And... Maybe... Maybe someday we can get to know each other like... Normal people. I don't want to be normal people. Run away with me. We'll go somewhere exotic. With our power, we can live like royalty. Adventure, excitement, romance. <sighs> and that sounds terrible to you. No, but I've got... Responsibilities. Well, I'm not one of them. Don't worry about me. I've always done fine with a target on my back. I can't just let you go. Fisk owns too many cops. If I'm in custody, I'm as good as dead. 
You can't do that to me any more than I can do it to you. You ever decide you want some fun in your life? Look me up. Felicia, wait! <laughs> it all makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. And the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. Okay, let's go to wherever it is I'm going. <laughs> to the old friend, which I'm guessing is Craven. More about Fisk than anyone. Oh, Harry Osborne. Let's go. Alright. Enter Harry's apartment. Yes. Better make myself presentable. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story. And she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. I probably should have seen it, but after losing my dad and Uncle Ben, I guess I wanted to believe. You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? Ooh. Tell me about your disease. Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's gotta be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. How does this relate to the cross species? Is that why Norman started the cross species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. How does the task force relate? Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure, but it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it and protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. 
Well, finished conversation. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes, you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, an audio log. As if I didn't have enough problems. Now I have to worry about Oscorp being stolen out from under me. Donald Menken's supposed to work for me. And for now, he's doing what I say. But it's obvious he'd like to run the place. Then there's Wilson Fisk. He keeps offering to buy the company. I might even sell it, if I didn't need Oscorp's research division to find a cure for my disease. I've got to watch them. They'd both stab me in the back without thinking twice. Parker, your Oscorp's developing new micro bombs so small you can hide them in anything, and they're testing them in Halloween decorations. You're friends with that Osborne kid, I'll pay extra for an exclusive shot. Okay. What else is there? Oh crap, what? Okay. Micro pump. Pumpkin stuff, what? Huh, a little early for Halloween, isn't it? Good shot. All right. Parker, you won't win any award with those photos. Try harder next time or I won't pay you. That was a good photo, you fucking asshole. I caught up with Peter Parker. We used to be pretty good friends when we were kids, and our dads were partners. I was hoping he might be able to tell me more about his father's research, but he doesn't know any more than I do. Less, actually. Based on dad's papers, I get the impression Richard Parker went on the run because dad wanted to weaponize his research. Typical Norman Osborne. He either ran off or killed the one guy who might have been able to save his life. Well, exit Harry's apartment. I got a new message. Parker, we're doing a human interest piece on some old fogey who's a pillar of the community, blah blah. He runs a comic book store, they still make those. I thought they led to juvenile delinquency. Anyway, I don't want to waste a real report on this. Get a shot of this storefront. I guess that's this. Time for alternative transportation. Boom. Okay. You know, I'd love to know how the task force is going to stop the crime wave when all they ever do is come after me. Excellent. I don't need much of an excuse to visit a place as awesome as the comic stand. All right. Not that good, but it'll do. Do better next time. Blah, blah, blah. Fucking ass. Oh, fire. Don't worry. I'll save the day. 